For your geometry class, you have a project that you need to complete. It's called the City Design Project. In this project, you're going to use what you've learned about transversal lines and parallel and alternate exterior angles to create an outline of a city. If you are doing this virtually, you can do that in this Google Slides. The instructions are on slide one, and the grid paper for you to use is on slide two. What this project asks you to do is um, create a city using lines and shapes that meets all of these specifications. So what I'm going to show you really quickly is how you can do that in Google Slides. Um, you'll notice that this grid paper is part of the background, so this is not going to move. Hopefully you're in class right now. This is not going to move. What I can do is add slides on top of it. So if I come up to my uh, menu bar up here, I want to add a line. And now I can draw this line to be however long I want and to be whatever angle I want it to be at. Now let's say that I want to edit this line a little bit. I could change its color by coming up here to the pencil. Once my line is highlighted, I can come up here to the pencil and I'll make this purple. I could also change the thickness of this line. That's called the line weight. That's this button right here, line weight. I want to make this a little bit thicker so that it's easier to see. And there's my line. Now let's say that I wanted to create a line that is exactly uh, parallel, sorry, exactly parallel to this. I can copy this line, and then I can paste. And that will give me a second copy of that line, and I can move that wherever I want it to go. Oops, so if I click on it, There it is. There. I can shift my lines over. There we go. There are my two parallel lines. Now you need to cut this with a transversal. So let's say I'm going to add another line and I will cut it with a transversal. I'll make this one green and I'll change the weight of it. And I want to make a copy of this one too. So I will copy and I will paste. There's my second copy of that line. And now there, I have a city block. Uh, I don't like that they're not long actually, so I'm going to change the length just a little bit. There we go. I'm going to edit these. These. I can completely move these lines too, right? They don't have to stay there. I can make them longer or shorter or change their angles. Now let's say that I wanted to put in a hospital. My city needs to have a hospital. I have a couple of options for how I do that. I could insert a shape. There's lots of different shape options. And I could just choose a really simple square. So I can draw my hospital and I could label it hospital. I could change the color of this to make it a different color. I'll make my hospital blue. I could give it a border. I'll give it a black border. I could also, using this little circle right here, I can change the angle of my hospital. So if I want to make my hospital perpendicular or parallel so that it sits nice in this little corner right here, I can do that. So that's one option for putting your uh, buildings in. The other option, um, doing things in Google Slides is really convenient because I can insert images directly from the internet. So I can search the web and I can find, oh, I've already looked at it here, right? I can type in whatever I want. I can find hospital, clip art, and that usually, a clip art is the little cartoon images, right? It gives me little cartoon images. This one's pretty cute, so I'm just going to select this one. And I will insert it. And there's my hospital image. I can resize this. I can move this wherever I want it to go. And then I can also do the same thing using this little circle right up here. I can rotate this image. There you go. 
So there's your hospital. I've got streets, they're parallel. I've got perpendicular lines. I've got my hospital placed. You can um, use all of these features to fill in the rest of your project.